we are going to talk about iron iron carbide diagram today let us discuss the name of the diagram first the name of the diagram is iron iron carbide diagram while if you see the diagram on the diagram we have iron on one side and the composition is in terms of weight percentage carbon still the diagram is not called iron carbon diagram because on the right side of the diagram we do not have 100 percentage carbon this diagram is limited to 6.70 weight percentage carbon which forms iron carbide also known as cementite that is why the name of the diagram is given as iron iron carbide diagram let us look at some of the important composition and temperature observed on the diagram so this table shows some important temperature and composition and also it shows description of that particular combination the first temperature is 7 to 7 degree celsius at 7 to 7 degree celsius and 0 0.022 weight percentage carbon we have a point which shows maximum solubility of carbon in alpha ferrite at the same temperature at 0.76 weight percentage carbon we have eutectoid point if you observe zero weight percentage carbon that means pure iron at 912 degree celsius at that point we can see that pure iron changes its crystal structure from bcc to fcc because of its allotropic nature on 1147 degree celsius and 2.14 weight percentage carbon we have maximum carbon in the steel that means it defines the range of percentage carbon in steel on the same temperature 4.3 weight percentage carbon we have eutectoid eutectic point i'm sorry not eutectoid eutectic point zero percentage carbon 1394 degree celsius again the allotropic change occurs in pure iron it again changes its crystal structure from FCC to BCC. At 1493 degree Celsius, we have three compositions where 0.18 weight percentage carbon shows peritectic reaction. 0 0.10 weight percentage carbon gives maximum solubility of carbon in delta ferrite. While the 0.5 weight percentage carbon point is the end point of peritectic line pure iron 1538 degree celsius is the melting point of pure iron let us look at the diagram now so this is iron iron carbide diagram you can see on the left hand we have pure iron on the right hand we have 6.70 weight percentage of carbon we have different zones this is alpha zone which is ferrite having bcc crystal structure this is gamma zone known as austenite having fcc crystal structure and this is delta zone known as delta ferrite having bcc crystal structure Here, this is the line showing eutectoid line. This is a line showing eutectic line. This is eutectoid point and this is eutectic point. Here, it is known as eutectoid point because at higher temperature we have one solid gamma austenite which gets converted into two different solids after 7 to 7 degrees celsius if we are following cooling 
this is known as eutectic point because here we get on cooling liquid to two types of solids if we discuss about the carbon range for steel it is up to 2.14 weight percentage carbon so here if we want to observe microstructures we can discuss three different reactions reaction a reaction b and reaction c reaction a passes through gamma austenite then alpha plus gamma zone and then alpha plus fe3c zone on cooling reaction b gamma austenite to alpha plus fe3c zone and reaction c gamma austenite to gamma plus fe3c to alpha plus fe3c zone on cooling let us now look at different microstructures observed on the diagram let's talk about the first process which is a so if our point of interest is in the gamma austenite zone in the microstructure we have grains of gamma austenite as we do not have any other solid or liquid over here these are the grains of gamma austenite as we pass this solvus line and if we are at the uh, nearby point of the solvus line at some higher temperature in the microstructure we can see that alpha particles nucleates as we reduce the temperature these alpha particles grow in size here you can see that those alpha particles has grown still we are in alpha plus gamma zone so we have gamma austenite grains together with alpha particles fully grown if now we cross this eutectoid line after this line we have alpha plus fe3c that means now this gamma austenite has to be converted into alpha plus fe3c so if we cross this line and if we enter into this region we have layered structure of alpha and fe3c together with the fully grown alpha name given to this alpha is pro eutectoid alpha because it has came into the existence before this eutectoid line and name given to the alpha which is in the layered form is eutectoid alpha as it has came into existence after this line if we want to give some name to this it is known as perlite perlite means it is a layered structure of fe3c and eutectoid alpha now if we talk about process b which is eutectoid process when we are in the gamma austenite zone we have grains of gamma austenite as soon as we cross this line eutectoid line by cooling we get layered structure of alpha and fe3c that means we have only perlite if we talk about the reaction c we have gamma austenite initially it is not shown and now you know how it looks like if we enter into this region gamma plus fe3c fe3c particles nucleates near the grain boundaries and as we reduce the temperature these particles grow and when we cross the eutectoid line we have this type of structure having pro eutectoid fe3c perlite in the perlite we have eutectoid fe3c and alpha this was about the microstructures observed on the iron iron carbide diagram now let us see how to find phase amount on this diagram we can use lever rule to find phase amount on any phase diagram let's fix a point at which we want to find the phase amount and let's say that the composition at this point is c0 
Now as per the procedure of lever rule, we have to draw a horizontal line passing through the point of interest which should end at the solvus line or at the end of the phase diagram. So in our case, this tie line ends at the solvus line of alpha region and the other end is at the end of the phase diagram. Now we have to note down the composition at the intersection of this line and the solvus line. This line is called tie line and as this is our point of interest we can imagine that this is a lever and this is a fulcrum. We have to note down this composition. In, our, in this case I am considering that this is C alpha and this composition which is already known 6.70. Now we can write the equation of phase amount if we want to find percentage of alpha we can write percentage of alpha is equal to 6.7 minus C0 divided by 6.7 minus C alpha multiplied by 100. It is by the use of the lever we can see that this lever is divided into two parts by this fulcrum. If you want to find percentage of alpha you have to look at the alpha region here in this case alpha region is on the left side that means now first we will use the right side of the lever and by this we can write the equation 6.70 minus this C0 and then we have to divide it by the total length which gives us 6.70 minus C alpha multiplied by 100 same way you can write the equation for finding percentage Fe3C so we are ending our lecture over here based on this you are going to get some exercises to be done.